back for another season of Humble State softball. Uh, last year, pretty good year in the conference tournament. West Regions hit it there. Um, to kind of get to the conference tournament, to get the regions, you got to have a, a successful season, and it starts this week. Um, what is your guys' approach of the first uh, or opening weekend of play? Well, right now we're just really excited to play. I mean, we've been practicing and scrimmaging each other, so getting to play other opponents is going to be great. But an approach wise, I think we're just starting now. I mean, it starts from game one all the way to get down to the final game of where we want to go. So we just need to take each opponent as the strongest one out there. And it has to feel good not only to face uh, a team other than yourself, but the fact with all the rain that we've had right. to be outdoors. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of being in that mm -hmm. field house and uh, the ball uh, hitting off the ceiling and that sort of thing. Yes. So just talk about kind of being outdoors uh, finally this week and facing the competition. It'll be great to play outside. I was actually just talking to Shelly about playing on the dirt because I haven't pitched on dirt in a while. So it'll be great to be able to actually have the full field and get to see what's a real hit versus, like you said, in the field house picking up, what oh, was that a home run? But uh, it's going to be great to be able to play not only another team, but actually outside and see how the our team really looks. Preparation staff uh, entered your season or senior uh, campaign. You've been here for a while, so uh, Maddie uh, has been here for a couple years. You would think with the, with the pitching staff uh, having that veteran uh, presence, that leadership, uh, is going to be a plus for the squad this year. Yes, I think so as well. Uh, with both Maddie and I returning, we also have three new pitchers coming in that I think have worked. Robin, being a sophomore, has worked really hard to get herself to really help this program this year. So the other two, I think, will also help in having that depth. I mean, my freshman year, it was two of us. Then it was three, and now finally we have five. So it's going to be great to actually work well and have some depth and not necessarily have to ride on me and Maddie or whoever else it might be. You know, 13th in the nation, that sounds good. Conference, you know, the coach is picking you second. When you hear that, do you think, like, hey, whatever, it's just, you know, a preseason poll, or do you kind of feel like <clears throat> to use that motivation saying, Hey, we, you know, we want to be that top spot. I think it's a little bit of both. Like, it's a preseason poll, definitely. And based on our returners, I'm kind of surprised that we aren't actually first because we've got about 10 people returning that have helped in the past um, seasons. But it's motivation as well. Knowing that we aren't targeted as first, it's just a motivation to push to be first and to know that we can become that C2A champs and take on to the next regions and whatnot. But we have to really focus on getting to that top four so we can make playoffs. Academy of Art this week, but then also uh, heading to Dixie. You'll face uh, Dixie and some other teams. Mm -hmm. uh, Dixie over the years has had some really good teams. So right off the bat this week, I mean, you guys are facing some pretty good uh, competition. Uh, talk about the, the importance uh, of facing those high caliber teams. It's great that we get to face strong teams and in the fall we've faced good teams and nice teams to be able to play against and be able to see something different pitching wise and stuff but being able to go and play Dixie and the returning 2014 national champs and all those teams that have had their names out there being great teams it's nice to be able to see them and see really where we fit and hopefully compete with them.